making them want to do anything else than sitting and looking at a blooming screen, even if that's going out and playing in the sunshine. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I I have a two-year-old, so it's a little bit in the future, hopefully, that technology comes into his life. But even now, I'm anxious about it because it is... It, I'm probably the last generation that experienced growing up without the internet. Like mobile phones kind of only just were accessible when I was about 16. So, you know, pre then, we just went out to play and we there was no accountability or nothing. You just did what you did and you came home at a certain time and you ate your, ate your mum had dinner on the table and you were good to go. Um, whereas now, literally children are equating their self-esteem with the amount of likes that their photograph gets and I think especially for girls you know the you are going to get more photographs if you wear a swimsuit for example uh, you're going to get more likes sorry on your photograph if you wear a swimsuit and so if you if you're not careful at a young impressionable impressionable age you 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 you'll post a picture that's a little bit more risque, you'll get lots more likes, and then you'll post a picture that isn't and you won't get as many likes, and then you'll be chasing for the likes mm. again. So it can be a really slippery path, and I'm just desperately trying to keep focus that, okay, keep keep communicating, keep yeah. talking, because if you talk through it, then your, your child hopefully will understand that's not the way to go. And your two-year-old, even now, will probably want to watch, you know, Peppa Pig on the iPad if you let them. You know, it, it is incredibly addictive. That's what you're talking about. And that's...